Hi everyone, we're back. So true to my word, I went ahead and uh, loaded up the van with some stuff, cleaned ourselves off. We're now free of blood. Look how pretty we look. Just lovely. Um, all of our stuff has been red and all that, and I even got a little bit of farming experience because we had some stuff that had grown up. I don't remember if that was before or after we... Uh, Had uh, stuff happen there. Ooh, I can harvest this now? This is potato, right? Oh, these are carrots. Too bad they're not seed bearing carrots. Only, right? Ooh, these aren't doing okay. Hopefully, it rains again, but I'm not gonna water them. Alright. So, like I had said, the plan today, since we pretty much have everything we need to last for this foreseeable future um we could take a little bit of a road trip and just kind of head south maybe see this town and what it has so i think our plan is going to be we're gonna leave our base go left and just kind of follow this main road all the way down but if i remember correctly i think there's a blockage of cars somewhere around there so we'll have to be careful we don't hit that uh first of all before we leave however Let's go ahead and eat our last fresh food we're going to be eating for a while. We'll eat another one. You know what? Let's, let's go for a tomato. One of our first tomatoes. Shame I can't put all of these in the uh, freezer, but hopefully those stay until we get back. And then I guess why not? Let's, let's smoke a celebratory cigarette whilst we... You know, wait here. Also, I should just double check that we have the bound journal uh, up to date. So transcribe everything. Okay, so sprinting was all I had because I just sprinted around a little bit there. Perfect. All right. Um, we still have a little bit of injury left, but we'll be driving for the most part. So I think that's fine. I did forget one thing that we should probably grab. And that is some uh, some healing items here. So let's grab a bottle of disinfectant. Grab some alcohol wipes. Just in case, let's grab our suture needle. Suture needle holder. Tweezers. And I think everything else we don't really uh, need too many of. But I'll grab another bandage. You know what? Let's grab another two bandages. That's fine. All right, we'll just throw those in the truck, and uh, hopefully we won't need them, but it's better to be over-prepared than under-prepared, right? So we'll just go ahead and toss all of this into here. Perfect. All right. All right, so let's head out and begin our journey. Key in the ignition. Start it on up. I don't think we're going to bother stopping by the gas station for more fuel. The tricky part's going to be getting out of here. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Why is leaving this place the hardest part of the journey, probably, huh? Okay, so I think... Yep, right there, we can get through. All right. Excellent. Hardest part's over. We got out of our driveway. Okay. So if we just keep heading up this way, we can make a turn here. And now it's just a straight shot till we're out of town. It would be really nice if we uh, found another one of these vans somewhere relatively secluded. Uh, so I could grab its hood and window and put it in uh, this one. Because I remember the hood and the window here were red. But the only ones that are alive are that are here are up north, and they're uh, a little bit damaged. Uh, or there's a lot of zombies around them anyway, so... Let's just be careful. And I'm just gonna hide my... stuff here. Why am I tired? <laughs> we just left! You know what? Let's pull into the, uh... the rusty rifle bar. 
Remember, there's some cots in here we can use, and we'll we'll take a quick nap. That's all we'll do. Eh. Nope, that's just a storage closet. This one. Not gonna be the best rest we've ever had, but it'll be good enough for us for right now. My guy sleeps so much. I don't understand how he can do it. Luckily, we cleared this place previously, so... You know what? Hold on. Before we... Eh, before we go anywhere else, I'm just going to fill my water bottle back up. Ooh, it was a little bit low. I think I forgot to show you guys what I had in the truck as well. We can do that real quick. So in the truck, we have... Um, our alcohol wipes, I'm going to have to toggle that off. We have the medical supplies we just put in. We have a bunch of canned food, the gas can. We have our normal supplies. And, of course, we have a couple of water bottles to get us through. And I figured we don't need a bunch of water bottles because any working sink we can get more from. So I was going to take, like, ten, but uh, I decided against that when I remembered, oh, yeah, the water is still running. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. But anyway... Let's uh, stop real quick. All right, so we are here. Oh, I guess I went up a street too far, but whatever. We're just going to turn to the left here. Stage left, as they would call it. And we'll just go down here. Was this where we found those uh, police cruisers that were kind of <clears throat> blocking the exit? Or was that up further? Looks like no problem so far. Gotta be careful. Don't wanna go speeding around and run into a blockade or something crazy like that. This is a windy road. I was expecting it to go straight, but uh, whatever, we're just exploring. Again, I have no idea about the, the Zomboid map, so everything we're seeing is, is new to me. I expect most of it's covered just by forest and stuff like that. Probably water and forest and all that good jazz. Oh. Did, did the truck just die for a second? I thought I heard it just like turn over again. So far, there's nothing around at all. Like, absolutely nothing. Okay, so we've come to... I was holding S to stop, but it was, like, just not moving at all. Okay, um... I guess let's head to the... We'll go right here. Oh, we have a, a map to a city over there. We might as well take advantage of that. Try to make it down there. This is a nice big stretch of road. I wish I could just like look out further. A couple of dead zombies here and there. Interesting. I don't know if there are, like, other survivors. Are there in default? Zomboid? Also, why is that road not, like, painted like this one? It's a little bit sketchy. We got some road work here. Nice, nice. Ooh, now, the, now, now it splits. We got, a uh, oh, the turnoffs. What, what is this called? Like, an overleaf? Interchange or something like that? No, cloverleaf has, like, the curved things. I'm gonna check some cars around here and uh, kind of take what we can. Maybe we'll find another truck that we can uh, borrow stuff from. Ooh, we have a key. Which means I can put it in this vehicle. It's out of fuel, but it looks like it would try to turn over. So. Open up the map. 
Let's uh, add note. Key for red car. Okay. Does it have anything else of value in here? Not really. Fine. Just in case we need another car or something, we can come into here. It is in really bad condition. Um, might probably not even worth bothering with, but that's fine. Can I search these burned out cars or not? What even caused all of these cars to uh, get burnt like this, I wonder? No key for this one. What about the trunk of it? Some duct tape? I'll always take some duct tape. Have a few more trucks up here. Surprisingly, I haven't seen any zombies. Nothing in here. Glove box. We got uh, another lighter. I can't even fit it in my uh, little fanny pack there. Little map, a hand torch. I don't need any of that. No key in the ignition. I guess I should check that too, because it, it could have just like a key in the ignition. No key in the ignition. Take these matches, duct tape, and the receipts. How about the trunk? A jack lug wrench. Yep. Nothing too fancy. I don't see any... Ooh, right there, a panel truck, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be in very poor condition. Oof, okay, I can't open that. What about the trunk, is it... Can I not search the trunk of this thing? Okay. Whatever. Let's run up here, we'll take a look at this panel truck, see how the condition of its stuff is. If it's better than mine, I might as well... Uh, take some stuff from it. Nope, it's still red. That's a bummer. What about keys? Got any keys in here? Doesn't look like it. Well, it's locked anyway. Hmm. Door's open. What about this uh, fan here? Got an annotated map. Okay, what's this say? Anything useful? West Point is up north further, so we don't really care about this. I'm gonna... I'm gonna put this map back, because I don't really care. Can I get by here, please? Hmm. Box locked. Can I... Unlock the trunk in here. Perfect. Oh, perfect. It's raining. My crops will get the, uh... stuff they need. Okay. I don't see any more vehicles up that way. Let's head back down to our vehicle. If we can take a look uh, to the west and south here, see if there's any more vehicles around. That one looks in very good condition, all things considered. Um... I don't want to try to move the van through all this nonsense, so I'm just going to go and take a peek myself. We have a propane tank. I could use that, so I'll take it. I don't know if I can, like, refill propane tanks, but I can at least use them to refill my torches, so that's great. Mm, we have bandages, cigarettes. I'll take the, the medical supplies. But, yeah, sadly, we do not have anything here. I want to equip the wallet in my secondary. Oh, I can't, like, do anything with the wallet. Okay. I thought you could, like, put stuff in the wallets, but apparently not, so never mind. All right. We have nothing there. What about this vehicle up here? This last one we're going to look at. Even though I just saw two more up there, I'm just going to ignore it. Let's grab the gas can. Always good to have more of them. And the door's locked. Okay, perfect. So, there are those two cars there, but uh, I don't want to deal with them. I think we are... No weapons available. What does that mean? 
Oh, I must have right clicked that. All right, back down to our van. We found one vehicle that's usable here. It's just out of gas. I could put gas in it from our, our little gas can here, but uh, let's take a look and see where we're at right now. So if we just keep heading down this main road, we should hit around here. So that's what we'll do. I'm gonna go around. I gesture with my hand so you can't see that, but do this. In order to get past here, then we'll take this road right here. Even though it's the wrong way, but who's gonna run into us? Zombies? Psh, please. Unless we see uh, another group of cars on the highway, if there's one or two, unless it's in like really good looking condition or it's one of these trucks, we'll probably ignore it. Well, there's a clunker. Really curious how all these vehicles got like burned out and stuff. Okay, let's slow down for a second. We're almost there. We're making progress. It's taking us like 15 minutes to get this far, but still. Almost at a quarter tank down fuel. It did start a little lower, but that's, that's fine. I'm afraid to like full throttle it because like what if I, you know, see a car or something? Like, Jesus Christ. Ooh, baby. I'm gonna take a second and uh I don't know why I swerved like this. Oh my god, disinfected alcohol wipes. I don't know why it's infected. Put a bandage back on. Okay. Are we uh, looking here? So, yeah, we're going to go down this street because uh, it links up into town. And if we were to go continue going south, it would just dead end us there. So we should, in a moment, have a road to turn us off on, right? Right up here. Here are our friends, the zombies. Why is there, like, a toll booth to get into this town? Out of the way. Let's see what this blue building at the end of the uh, street here is. There's a lot of zombies out and about. Lots of church. I don't really care about that. We might just skip this town altogether if we don't find anything that looks interesting or useful to us to loot. So, where's the next thing? Maybe some green buildings, which I believe are commercial. Over here, if we keep going this way. Gotta get out of the residential areas. So, here we are. We have, yeah, it's just a storefront. There's a gas station here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. There, the mark that we have gas. Family Medical Center, huh? And a pharmacy. Okay. Maybe we take a look in these. But first, we need to take care of some zombies. Gotta be careful to not get surrounded.
as we know, one attack from the back can basically ruin our whole lives. Let's not deal with that, shall we? Okay. I think pretty much all the zombies who heard me are dead now. The rain's probably masking a little bit of the uh, noise. Good. Oh, that door was shaking for a second. Well, let's close the door here. Do you got any uh, food? Yeah, it's all rotten, though. Brown sugar, tea bag. Ooh. I've not seen this stuff before. I can make tea. I don't particularly like tea myself, personally, but make it. We have a coffee, sugar packet, empty kettle. I already have a kettle at home, so I don't worry too much about that stuff. Shit. Uh, like, the delayed, like, reaction that I had there was not great. Like, I saw the zombie, and I was like, hmm. Well, luckily, we, uh... Didn't have any issue there. I do hear zombies making noises, though. Like, I saw the zombie, like, and I was like, okay, we have a zombie here. And, uh, I was like, I'll kill it. And then, I don't know why, there was a delay. And then I got startled for some reason. Oh my god, it's because I'm clicking on the fucking inventory. That's why I was delayed in reacting there. Is there not a light switch in this room right here? I'm just blind. Turn it on. I like having light, you know. Ooh, there we go. Antibiotics. Bites wound infections. Cannot prevent zombification. Perfect. Since we uh, have an infection right now. But if, if it gets bad, we can take it. I don't think it will get bad, but... Ooh, suture needle. I don't need tweezers. I will take scissors, though. I don't think I need a scalpel. Oh, what do we got in here? More drugs. Nice. Medical supplies are one of the main things that would be good to stock up on, so I'm happy to find more of them. Someone's pounding on stuff over there. Uh, bleach, ripped sheets, cigarettes, a lunch bag. No way this lunch bag actually has stuff in it, right? I'm going to take some of those. There we go. Pipe wrench, hammer. Yeah. If I place this like that, can I actually like access it and oh, I can. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm surprised it's not rotten. That's like insane to me. I'll just uh, mend my peckishness by eating whatever it is, and I guess only one had stuff in it, but... Really? The, 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 I can't get through that little gap? Okay. That's good to know. Better I know it now than when I'm running from zombies, right? Oh, yeah. And then we're going to go next door to the pharmacy and get even more stuff? Hmm. I don't need the medical mask. Absolutely beautiful. What a great haul. We have so much stuff to heal wounds with now. You know what? What is my anxiousness doing? It's not giving me any effects. Okay. I'm not going to worry too much about it then. Is this a window or a door? The door, okay. Wasn't sure. Ooh, more antibiotics. Perfect. And now we're getting full of gear. That's not ideal, but... Oh, those are each one. Okay. Oop. Now what you got in your desk? 
Nothing for me. Garbage can has a garbage bag in it. I'll take that. Keep watching our back. Never know when the zombie knows are gonna come and get you. All right. Yes, more suture needles. One of the main things we actually needed was suture needles, so it is very good that we are finding them. We don't really need uh, the suture needle holders, but uh, everything else is kind of important. The suture needles are what uh, tie up the lacerations, you know, so. Let's see, so carrying a heavy load gives us negative speed, of course. Lower attack speed, but that's to be expected. So nothing too crazy here. All right, so that's everything in the hospital area. Let's head back to our lobby. There's a couple more doors here. Yeah. Bathroom. There's also going to be a bathroom. Yep. All right. Take a garbage bag. Let's go ahead and drink. And then fill our water bottle up. Might as well clean the bandage here too, so it's all sorted better. All right, what about the desk here? Really, more drugs in this place. Okay. Don't need the medical mask. Oh, hold on. Here we go. We're taking everything. Going around to this side. Oh, hell yeah. Gotta love the suture needles. We were just running out of those two, so that's a very good find here. But before we go outside where zombies could potentially be, I'm gonna grab this plus. I'm gonna put it here. And then we're probably gonna put the medical symbol, the, the pill symbol in the other one. But uh, right now... We're going to offload all of our stuff into the van. Wait, no, stop! Oh, fuck you, kid. Where did you even come from? I looked down there and there was no one there. Well, luckily, that wasn't a bite. I don't know why I was dumping this stuff on the ground, though. I guess I closed the fucking trunk. Ugh. Alright. I want to use this first, though, so... I really don't like, uh... Loading stuff when there are zombies around, potentially. Kind of not great. Yep, everything for there. Fuck. Here we go. No, damn it! Ugh. Putting stuff in the damn zombie's body. Get my shit back. That was everything I accidentally put in there. Why not? Yep. Looks good. We're just a little peckish still. That's fine. You coming to fight me? Hmm? Huh? 
Bring it, let's go. Pharmacy time. I think I hear someone slamming on a door somewhere. Looks like a back room area. I'm gonna keep that closed for right now. Nothing there. Oh, I think I saw another door there. Hold on. Assemble the door. Oh, they're uh, right over from that direction. Is there a light switch in here? I don't see one. Would be nice to uh um or dismantle that door, but can I climb a counter? No. Mm. Okay, well. In that case. The best thing to probably do right now would be to take everything in this cabinet and put it over there. And I can just disassemble the software. Of course I do. Mm. I'll let him keep banging his head there. Maybe he'll just break it down for me. Medical supplies. Once I hear him no longer smacking his head, when I'll know that we uh, have a bit of a problem. We already have a bit of a problem since I uh, retired. Well, we got food here at least, so we can. Sustain ourselves off of that. Plenty of pop and soda. Does that do anything to help with, like... No, it doesn't help with tiredness, fortunately. Last one here. More stuff. Yeah. What else I need? Can I use toothpaste for anything? Can't even eat it? Alright, so I think all the goodies are probably in the back. Oop. Not necessarily this back, but... So that just leads back out there leads into a dining room, I guess, but I don't really care about that. What was in here? Plank? Fucking... Yeah, the jump scare sound. Is it just him? I might just disassemble the damn door. Hold on. I closed this door, I did. Okay. But I am tired, so if I do... Like... Disassemble the door. 
I'm gonna have a hard time. Uh, I can't speed up time right now. That's interesting. Is it because there's a zombie close by? Yep. I need you to just die, sir. Thank you. You have a key. I probably opened up this door. Okay. All right, what else we got in here? Ooh, five suture needles. That is great. Let's see. What else we have in here? Water bottle. I was expecting some medical supplies or something in uh, in this, but whatever. Not sure why they have scrubs in a pharmacy, but who am I to judge, right? Also, don't know why they have paint and trowels. That's also a little bit weird. But again, who am I to judge? Nice if I could sleep on this uh, table there. A bottle of disinfectant. We have a bunch of other stuff in here. Excellent. Yeah, we're not going to be wanting for medical supplies for quite a while. I think I already searched all these, didn't I? I guess not these ones over here. Huh. Money. Beautiful. We have such a nice haul of medical supplies going already. This is perfect. Can I sleep on these? No. Gotta be able to sleep somewhere, right? There we go. Now I can. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just sleep here. We're gonna get some bad quality sleep, but we kind of have to if we want to do anything. Fuck. Of course. Let me just re-equip my machetes first here. Can't get back to sleep. Try again later. Are you kidding me? I'm going to take some sleeping pills then. That's so annoying. Luckily, zombies can't jump me in my sleep. I think I turned that setting off, but... I wish my guy wasn't such a heavy fucking sleeper. Yeah, I have neck pain because of that stupid nonsense. Well, let's remove our bandage here on our upper left arm and... Oh, so it was just dirty. Huh? Okay. Remove my right hand bandage too. Oh, perfect. That looks great. Let's check our feet. Still stitched. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk it and remove the stitch. Okay, now it's just scratched, so that's great. I'm going to ignore that zombie for a moment. I say as he breaks through the fucking door, okay? I was not expecting him to break through it, like, immediately. He had a key for something, though. Not sure what it was. I think I have painkillers here. Let me go ahead and take some. Hopefully deal with this neck pain. And then I'm going to just smoke a cigarette to alleviate some of my anxiety, which lowers my mental... Uh, mental... mental me, 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 melee damage by 50%. 10%, rather. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that uh, didn't help with my neck pain at all, but that's just because I slept in a stupid position. Like an idiot. Okay. Turn that off. Turn that off. That's clear. Clear, it looks like. Oh. Hello there. What the fucking zombie? Why is it default into the zombie, man? 
Also the keys. Apparently didn't put them in my key ring. Zombies don't seem to notice me yet. Which is ideal for me. I think she does now, though. So let's take her out. And then her friends, too. She wants a piece now, but I'm going to make her walk to me. There we go. Okay. What is that down there? Just a gas station? Yeah. Yeah, just a gas station. Okay. What do we got over there? That vehicle. This eatery. Okay. We are a little bit hungry, so let's go ahead and eat some stuff. Probably do this while in the car, but sometimes you just gotta risk it for the biscuit, as they say. A lot of bandages on me. Okay, well. We're all right here. Take a look at the map. I'm gonna add a, a pill symbol here. And then let's also add a food symbol there to kind of symbol that that is what is there. Um, so we have a restaurant entertainment area there. Some sort of community thing there. Probably a school and police station, I would say, there. So let's... Uh, Head on up and see what we have to the north. Or I guess not north, uh, this side, whatever the hell it is. That's an eatery. What's that say? Shipping logistics? Hmm. Nothing I care too gravely about. Looks like this is a community center. And then there's what's up north here, the uh, police station? Oh, it's just a school. Okay. Don't really care about either of those. We already have all the books and stuff we need. So anything else is just kind of overkill there. A lot of zombies on the streets around here right now. What else? Looks like there's nothing else around here, but we're going to go to the, the north side right here. I think the map kind of cuts off over here. Oh no, it's just a dead end road, okay. There's a fence over there though. Okay, all we have is a second. We checked basically all that, so let's just go to the gas. Oh, what's this, I guess? That would be a restaurant or eatery. I don't really care about those. Yep. I'm just gonna go over here then. Out of my way. Out of my way. I'm gonna turn around so I can go back in the way I came. Or out the way I came in. Hopefully, anyway. Off you want. Okay. Here we go. Got out. Sorry. Sorry, zombie. You just kind of got in my way. Had to kill you. You know how it is. I'm gonna turn down here. Hope that we're not gonna reach a dead end that has a bunch of zombies in it. 
Oh, I did not mean to hit that guy. That was just me swerving uncontrollably. Had to hit him. I didn't have much room to maneuver. Oh, the truck just stalled right there. That was not ideal. Guess we're going up now. There's driveways. I can't cut across there. This is the community center. Get out this way. Turn down here. Then check out what's in the gas station parking lot area. Other than a bunch of zombies. That's a food place. Maybe I don't get fuel here. There's a lot of zombies around it. I think we should just uh, expedite getting out of town for now. Oh. I really didn't have any recourse other than hitting that guy. Woo! That, you gotta admit, was a little bit impressive. I think this is the road out of town, yeah? Fuck me. That was really bad. The damn stop sign came out of nowhere. This is the correct road, okay. There's so many zombies just standing in the middle of the frickin' road. Get out of the way, you dicks. out of harm's way for now. Our truck is not very happy with what we just did, though. I guess let's head this way. I want to find a nice place we can pull off to and uh, check the damage on our vehicle, because it is not great right now. It just died. There we go. Woo! Got me a little nervous there. I think any time now would be just fine to pull over, but I'd like to see something else, like a, a car we could check while we're at it, rather than just getting out to get out and stopping. Because if we get out, I'm not sure we can start this thing back up again. It might take a couple of tries and stuff, so. I'd rather be somewhere where there's a potential we could do something. Rather than be stranded out in the middle of literally nowhere. So. How's the map looking? Making some progress. We got zombies now. Does that mean there's some sort of civilization nearby? Maybe like a, a rest stop or something. Something. I think this is just a random auxiliary road. There's a fence there. Uh, farm? It's a farm of some sort. Okay. I don't care. It's just a farm. I'm just gonna walk away for right now. Probably turn my lights on. Help with visibility a little bit. But they're probably uh, on their last legs. I have to guess.
I'm actually curious about one thing. Hold on a second. Um, zombie lore. There's a setting to make zombies like respawn, right? Respawn hours. The number of hours that must pass before zombies respawn in a cell. 500 hours. Maybe I just turn this to zero. I was just curious. Uh, I'm not having a problem with zombies, but I do like the, the idea that at some point you can clear out all zombies from, like, everywhere. It's one of the things that I really like. It's like when zombies don't just spawn randomly because they need zombies, right? Take it slow. Just take it slow and we'll have to restart our vehicle again. Oh my god, it went from Oh my god. What does that sign say? Hit checkers may be escaped inmates. There's a prison nearby then. Okay. Man, hitting that stop sign really fucked me over. We are not in a good way right now. Even less so because now the street is uh, getting thinner. Look at the map real quick. This connects to the town. What is this large area over here? Are you kidding me? I hit a tree. It looks like a gas station of some sort, which is what we kind of needed. Maybe these are gas stations. If I get closer, I can look. Does it have any fences anywhere that I can use to my advantage to hopefully kill zombies, though? God, it, is, it is so dark. I don't even want to, like, stop, because if I do, I feel like hit them. I feel like if I stop and get out of the car, I'm not going to be able to turn it back on. I'm thinking here. I should probably just do it now rather than wait until I'm like tired or something. Going up here. I'm gonna leave it running. Let's move. Away from me, sir. Okay, let me just run for a second here, make sure no one's behind me. Fuck. Get off me, assholes. Ah, oh, come on. Just our clothing taking damage. Because all those ripping sounds were. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Anything to the north. Not that I can see. I'm going to take this annotated map. I don't have any keys on them. One thing that would be good is if I could... Find another car just in case. A Deagle? I'm guessing what's that? That's what the D E stands for. Oh fuck off. There we go. Ooh. 
close my inventory window for a second. Okay. Let's take a second and continue to check for loot. Let's take that digital watch. I can use it to uh, do some stuff. Might stick police vest. Of course, he doesn't have any ammo for it on him. Have a nice stick. Oh. Okay. Whew. Okay. I'm gonna climb inside and turn it off. That way I'm not burning through fuel. Also need to turn the uh, headlight off before I forget, or else I'm gonna end up uh, killing the battery. Why don't you try to bite me, you piece of shit? Real quick. Four things to get tense. Turn off the headlight. There we go. Alright, come here, sirs. I didn't want to use a lady, but still. Come here. Alright. Take your digital watch. Okay, let me just do a real quick turn. Okay, the only zombie I see is right there. Let me check my machete. Condition is not good. Yeah, okay, this gun has no ammunition in it. That's great. Let's head down and kill some zombies then. Oh, fuck off, sir. Come on. There you go. Good. What you guys got on you? Any keys? No? Of course not. Why would you have keys? Oh, we got another battery. If, uh, if mine's damaged, I can put that on. Unless it doesn't count because it's a standard type of battery. Door's locked. Well, I can remove the window like we usually do, but first we gotta clear some zombies. What do you think you are, kid, huh? I guess it's a police officer, whatever. Ooh, pistol ammo. Hey there, lady. I'm gonna remove this broken glass, don't mind me. got on you. You have a key. Not sure what to, but I'll take it. Any zombies in the bathroom? No? Good. Take a moment and drink and then fill our water bottle. Whew. Okay. I'm gonna turn my alarm off because uh, it might make noise when I'm looting stuff, and I do not want that to happen. I think that door just leads to the back entrance exit. Where the fuck are all the light switches in this place, huh? Does the men's room not get a light switch? There it is. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. So this is just kind of like a rest stop for people to use to go to the bathroom and all that. Anything in the vending machines? No. Okay. How's my stuff looking? It looks pretty good. Ugh. Okay. Come and get me, zombies. Ooh, got him good there. Ah, come on, you lot. 
You want to stay undead forever? Hmm? Secure for the moment. Let's go ahead and search their bodies. Taxi key. Add that to my key ring. Which means I can now just open up and drive that taxi if I wanted to. Before I do anything else down here, I'm going to Take a look at that, just in case. I did not get startled. Fuck off. Ah, great. I'm bitten. Well, we're gonna die. Since we're going to die, there's no real point in us sticking around here. Let's, uh, head home, I guess. Welcome back here another time. Actually, before we fully leave, uh, let's mark down that this is a gas station. Okay, perfect. All right, let's get out of here. The quicker we can make it to our base, the quicker we can just die and survive. Why did I... Why did I... Shit! Why don't I go down the shitty road? Are you kidding me? That's a tree too? Every time I fucking hit something. Turn on, please. Oh my god. This is awful. I'm literally gonna die here because the fucking truck is in such shit condition. And there's so many zombies around me. Come on, come on. Alright, you little bastards. He says, looking down at how many there are now and seeing the oh shit. Maybe he fucked up. Where did all of them come from? Of course, the one zombie I got next to me got me bitten, too. I'm not gonna die all the way out here, goddammit. I only got that crawler dead. All right, you little shits. It's enough out of all y'all. Got any keys on you, huh? Y'all got keys? Good. 
I think my leather jacket broke. Lady, I need, like, no zombies around. So as soon as I touch anything with this fucking truck. Oh, yeah? So is it just when I try to reverse, then? Or is it literally just any time I try to go for, like, a couple of seconds here, it's just dying on me? Can't see what I'm looking at. Why is it making so much... Like, why am I attracting so many zombies now? Oh, great, now I'm tired, too. That's even fucking better, baby. There's something wrong happening here. very wrong is happening. I knew it. I'm almost behind me. Dirty bastards. Okay. More people dead. sleep in here, maybe? No? Okay, well, before we make more noise and summon more of them to me, I just hear a zombie growl? Is that just me? Engine is at 0%. Repair engine. Mechanics, 5 required. Spare engine parts, 1 required, so I'd have to go fucking do something. Okay, well, luckily, we uh, had that taxi up here. Hold on. I'm going to mark our truck is here. We'll just take this taxi. And hopefully take it back home. But it's out of fuel. Okay. It's okay. Move this bandage real quick. Bitten, infected, yada, yada, yada. Okay. I need to move my microphone for a second. All right, let's go grab our fuel. I know we have gas cans in here. So fuck. Come on. All right. We're also hungry. I should have ate what we had back there, but... How hungry are we? Pretty hungry. Deal with it in a moment. It's fine. Add gasoline, gas can. Okay. No, don't get out. many zombies are near the pumps? A lot. Alright, we're not going to deal with that then. I'm just gonna cross here, drive down through here, 
try to avoid hitting shit. So many fucking zombies around here, man. Didn't mean to hit that guy, but okay. Why do they always gotta be in the road? Why don't you guys stop loitering in the road, huh? Ladder's ass. We're on a timer. Oh, I tried to stop. Y'all heard it. I'm not liable. People are just standing out in the middle of the fucking roads. And if this taxi breaks down, we can just go get that red car that's in the middle of the fucking uh, one intersection. I think this is the stretch of the road where we're getting less zombies now. That's great, but we're gonna start getting queasy and shit here in a moment. I really don't want to go too fast, because if I do, then we're kind of screwed, you know. In terms of stopping, because it takes me that long to stop, so that's just no bueno. Am I able to like set a like a cruise control kind of thing? Let me take a look where we're at. Fucking help. We're almost there. For the turn anyway. Careful because I know there's this intersection. Jesus Christ. Intersection that partially ruined my truck when I hit one of those fucking lampposts. Ugh. And we gotta be aware of all the burnt up cars that are gonna be up here. Which are a ways away. We're starting to get very hungry and we're tired and not ideal, man. Not ideal at all. As long as we can get to the city, it'll be fine because then we don't have to worry too much about, you know, anything. As long as we are within a safe. Of course! Of course I swerved into the pole! Why wouldn't that happen? The, 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 I, I could have just kept going straight and not swerved, but the, the truck threw me off and I had to like, uh, you know? Let's take this sort of slow. I'd rather not die here. We can get... Fuck it. So that, that tree, I don't have to worry about, but the other ones that were stopping my truck before... Man, I've just made some careless decisions this time around. As long as we can get home, transfer our knowledge into the thing, I think we'll be okay. But we really need to get to the point where we can do mechanical work on engines. Until then, we're just going to be suffering. Hey, we're here. Why is there someone at the gas pump? Come on now. This is a self-serve gas station. weapon equipped, because why the fuck would I, you know, put my primary weapon back on and not this fucking ass Just two zombies, I can deal with it.
Okay. Let's fuel this taxi. Where's the damn zombie? Yeah, there it is. I stepped away right at the right time, by the way. Y'all see that? A second later, and I would have been zombie no food. Refuel from gas pump, please. Go. I'll take this gas can and put fuel in it again. Oh, can I not put the fucking gas can in here because shit's fucking heavy? I don't know why the fuck I put in tires and shit. Goddamn. Trunk. Dicks. Fine, gas can can go in the front seat then. Turn on, please. There we go. Can't fucking believe this. All right. So we're gonna go down, and then we're just gonna follow it over. Luckily, we haven't started getting queasy yet, so we don't have to worry about that. That would be an indication that we're just gonna get infected. Or we're gonna die in quicker, so. Basically, I just gotta follow this all the way down the street. And the car stalled. It's horrible. We really need to level our mechanics, don't we? Why am I taking the key out of the ignition? I don't know why my guy is like, oh, the car died, I'll take the key out of the ignition. Why? Why are you doing this, sir? Okay, here's home. Do a nice wide turn so I can get lined up in here and not actually up anymore, even though we just messed up. Okay, yep, that's fine. Oh, come on, bro. I'm parking this thing up here as well because it's basically dead. That was not great. That was a very bad trip. We were doing so well, and then we, well, weren't doing so well. Okay, give me my journal. Transcribe everything into the journal, please. Okay. Put it away. What's this map have to say? Anything interesting? Oh, of course, it's for an area that's not near us. Why would it be near us? Uh... Oh, why is that not secondary equipment? Whatever. All right, let's just, I guess, dump what we have. Well, I don't have to do it when I come back as a new person. And that's rough. You know what, I'm just gonna have one final smoke as this guy. We have fucked up. And then why don't we, uh, I guess, wash all of our clothing, because why not? Might as well make it new and ready for the next guy. Oh, 
I'll just go ahead and throw it down in the dryer for him. Watch in there, my holster in there, fanny pack can go in there too. This belt doesn't matter since I'm gonna come out with it anyway. I'll put my key ring in too, why not? In the backpack. Just throw all this stuff in the backpack then. Two machetes in the backpack, hammer, screwdriver in the backpack, and we'll go ahead and just drop the backpack here. There we go. All right. Look at us, naked in all of our glory. Ah, it's time to die. Witness me. Of course, my feet wounds heal after I'm bitten. Witness me. Witness me. I'm just gonna sleep on the ground here in the pile of uh, stuff. Just to quicken my death a little bit here. And dead. So I'll just go kill that zombie once we come back. You know, maybe we change up our skills here a little bit. You know? I think slow learner might be costing us some, some time here. Let's get rid of slow learner. We'll get rid of graceful and inconspicuous. Um, prone to illness is fine because the rate of zombification is, you know, once we get bitten, we're screwed anyway. So uh, that's just whatever. Um, what else can we do? We have two points here, so we can do fast reader. Doesn't really matter. Need less sleep could be helpful. Outdoors, not affected by harsh weather conditions. I really don't want to drive fast. That, that sounds like a bad idea. Let's grab Wakeful for right now. Anything else down here that we could get? Sunday Driver is just worthless. It does plus one. There's not really any point in... Hey, look, my zombie's walking around out there. Higher chance to have food illnesses. Anyway, I'll tell y'all what, let's just end here. I'm going to do some research on these skills and see like what ones don't matter. Like, would weak stomach matter if I cook and eat my food normally? Or like, is it only if you're eating like rotten food and stuff like that, right? But anyway, we will uh, come back. I'll show you the character I make. And then we will reclaim our stuff and try to go back down. And well, we probably actually won't go down right away because we can't fix our vehicle. So we will have to... Try and level up our mechanics and stuff before we can do that. Yeah. Alright, until then everyone, bye-bye.